continuing to field questions for us simile i have a student asking which of my high yield free pdfs from my website are for step one versus step two can i quickly elaborate and give you some important input as far as those pdfs are concerned this will not be a lengthy clip i'll tell you exactly what you need to know so before we get started please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it give the video a like i really appreciate it find me on instagram at melman underscore medical m-e-h-l-m-a-n underscore medical the link is down below Find me on Telegram, recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. So the student's asking which of my high yield PDFs are for step one versus step two. And it's difficult for me to contain myself and not be an obnoxious asshole in terms of how I respond to this question because you can clearly look at the PDF subject titles and discern slash infer which ones are step one versus step two. Pediatrics, Adzingaini, surgery, clearly 2CK, right? Psych, that's step one and step two. You're going to have uh, PDFs like biochemistry, immunology, neuroanatomy. Those are clearly step one. So I could just I could just answer cleanly, just be like, yeah, you know, these PDFs, like these are step one, these are step two. I mean, use your ability to infer, okay? So, and I respond this way because I get this question a lot. Um, as far as which PDFs are for which subjects, I mean, I could by all means, um, you know, use headings on my website. I've considered doing that, uh, modifying the titles for step one or step two, et cetera. It really doesn't fucking matter. Just use the PDFs. Okay. Uh, they're good for both exams. All right. I mean, clearly for 2CK, you don't need to go through neuroanatomy, but like, look at cardio, look at renal, look at palm. Okay. And if something seems very... Uh, nitpicky and embryological, and you're studying for 2CK, you probably don't need to know it. If you're studying for step one and something seems very uh, nitpicky and clinical, you probably don't need to know it. Okay? So I think what you should bear in mind is that overall, the PDFs, regardless, are a great use of your time, be, uh, even if you're concerned about the, uh, which content is step one versus step two, because even if you cover all the material, still a better use of your time and you're still saving time compared to if you go through other resources which are heavily superfluous. I base my PDFs, PDFs off of the NBME content, all right? So for step one though, the high yield arrows, that's the most important one. Um, for 2CK, I mean, if your foundation is very fucking weak, uh, then we could consider having you go through high yield arrows, but high yield arrows is predominantly a step one PDF. That could probably be uh, the main crux of this clip as far as just uh, making note of the point that if you're studying for the step one, you should go through that PDF twice if you want to pass. People who have issues passing a step one slash the comp for level one, they have serious fucking problems going through high yield arrows. Okay, I'm going to link that in the description below, actually. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel and appreciate your time. That's it.